Tabletop Tennis Junkies. In this week's episode, I'll be teaching you the Topspin Pendulum Serve. So the Topspin Pendulum is great for players who want to get into the rally right away. If you struggle with the backspin loop or with your pushes or you just don't want to deal with the backspin, then Topspin Serve is really the way to go. A lot of times when I'm at tournaments, I'll be coaching a player or I'll be seeing other players who they serve backspin over and over and over again. And a lot of them actually struggle with the backspin loop. So if, you, if you're one of those players, you don't really want to serve a whole lot of backspins. You want to serve more topspin. So whenever you serve, you should really be doing one of two things or both. And the first is to help your, your strengths. So your serve should kind of play into your strengths a little bit. The other thing you want to do is expose your opponent's weaknesses. So if you're not doing one of those two things, then you're really doing the wrong serve. So we'll be learning the topspin serve today and we'll get going right now. All right, so the first thing I'm going to show you is the grip and the stance. So the grip will be the exact same as the pendulum serve. So you're going to have your index finger up. These three fingers will be off. Your thumb will come up, and that will allow for that nice wrist action. The stance is also the same as the pendulum serve, where your left foot is going to be just directly in front of your right one. If you haven't seen my video for the backspin pendulum serve, I have it linked right up here. Go check it out, and that will explain the grip and the stance a little bit better. But moving forward with the pendulum topspin, I'll show you the elbow and the way that the wrist moves. So the elbow is actually going to stick out on this one and uh, the wrist is going to drop. So what that'll do is as you're coming in, you don't want to hit the bottom of the ball with this. So you're going to be hitting the back or the side and the elbow will be up. So when you come through, you're actually going to be hitting it this way, coming up a little bit. or or maybe you're a little bit underneath, but still coming up this way, you're gonna be pulling up on the ball just slightly. So if you're staying through, if you're staying underneath the ball and going through the ball, that'll create the backspin. But when you're coming up, that'll create the topspin. A mistake that a lot of players make is they actually put too much topspin on the serve. And when you, when you say it, it sounds good. Like the more topspin, the better. But in general, people are serving backspin. So if you serve a lot of backspins and then you come in with a little topspin, if it has just a little bit of topspin and they come in and push it, the ball is going to either pop up or it's going to go long. So if you come in and do a lot of topspin, the ball is either going to pop up higher or it's going to go longer, which doesn't really gain you a whole lot. And with the more topspin, it's a little bit harder to control. And also, it's a lot more obvious to read the, the spin on the ball for your opponent. So if, you're, if you mix in the backspin and then you mix in a little topspin, the effect is essentially the same, but it's a lot easier to disguise and it'll actually gain you more if you put a little bit of topspin on it than if you put a lot of topspin on it. All right, I'll demonstrate some of the serves now. Watch how my elbow stays out or sticks out as I contact it. My wrist is gonna drop and I'll be pulling up on the ball. That's really important. I'd like to show you the difference between the backspin serve and the topspin serve. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to serve two backspins followed by two topspins. Here's the backspin. Notice how the, the racket stays flat, my elbow's tucked in. Okay, now here's the topspin. The elbow pulls up. Okay, one more. Okay, I'll do them in slow motion, two backspins and two topspins. All right, so just to recap on the pendulum topspin, you're gonna to wanna to keep your elbow up on this one. You're gonna pull up on the ball. 
So you're not going to want to come over the top like this. A lot of players, when they're doing this, you're coming in and coming over the top. Just keep your elbow up and you're going to be pulling up on the ball. And the other thing is, is you don't need to get a ton of topspin. Just try to disguise it against the backspin so that way hopefully your opponent will come in and push it. So a few questions that a lot of people ask me is when I would do this serve and what kind of return I should expect after doing the serve. So since it's a topspin, I'm expecting a topspin return, so I'm going to be getting right into the rally after the serve. As far as when I would do it in the match, I tend to do this one kind of mid-game or early game because the topspin will tend to leak long. It just the, the ball will bound forward, where at the end of a match especially, I'm, I'm trying to make sure I can serve short and tight. So I tend to avoid the topspin at the end of a match, so I would have to say sometime in the beginning or the middle of the match is when I would pull this out. That's all for this week's video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And if you have any questions, put them in the comments and I'll see you next week. Thanks. One more.